about it because I don't know. Not worth it. All right, guys. Best out of three, round 32, uh, PK tournament. Uh, Army Corps versus Shu. Coming Good to you live. Sure. So, uh, we got uh, a few commentators here with me. Uh, seven up, uh, commentator off the stream. We got uh, Rai Fang, and of course, we have who's the other fellow that we got here? Is that it? We Jolly Man go. Oh, Jolly Man. He's, uh, he's going to catch the next one, I guess. But uh, we got Rai Fang and Seven Up, so say hello, guys. Hello, Rai Fang here. Hello. Okay, right on, right on. You sound excited there, Seven Up. <laughs> well, the streams lag for me, so I can't really watch the streams. So I'll just, uh, you know what? Just... I'll just talk what's going to happen, and that's what's going to happen. <laughs> Try it in pop out mode. Um, so we have Aranos uh, by Army Corps and uh, Isis by Shu Donut. Or, sorry, I keep saying it. It's Shu oh, Donut. Yeah. That was definitely a mistake. <laughs> Listen, Shu, if you're going to be watching this stream again, I want to apologize in advance. You know, I keep calling you Shoe Donut. Honestly, guys, for you guys in the chat right now, does it look like Shoe Donut? Does it? Right now, answer in the chat. I'm looking at it. This is his attempt at humor before the game starts up. Attempted humor? Yep. <laughs> I'll commentate your commentating. How about that? Uh, seven up. You said it's lagging for you, really? Well, no. Just have bad. I just have bad, bad internet. So yeah, it's load. too bad because I actually turned down the quality. Like it's at seven twenty p now. I just have. Yeah. Okay, organic. So, what do you think here? Honestly, what do I think? Yeah. Uh, Army Corps is going to win pretty handily. All right. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Organic. Uh, Raifang, what do you think? <sighs> to be honest, if I had to, like, go through the matches in the round of 32 and rank the ones that I thought were, like, least likely to be upsets, I'd put Army Corps as probably the highest chance of going through. You think so, so eh? I think him being one of the top five players, probably without question, everybody else is mine. No, guys, I don't want to ruin the... I wouldn't like to surprise for you now. You doing it is gonna get his teeth kicked in. <laughs> that that ruins the surprise, man. man. <laughs> Shu is gonna get his. Nah, I don't like in. talking shit about Shu. He was actually a 1900 player in 2006. Was he? Yep. But then he only started playing a couple months ago. All right. If we want to talk about positives for Shu, uh, the map in the first matchup is a really good map for Isis. Matchup, water on the sides allows you to wall off pretty easily. Fertile. Also got a really nice second gold right next to a second town center, so we'll have safe gold. Doesn't have to worry about the gold star on this map at least. So we could see a later game than we might on a different map. So. Get it now, okay, first game. For those of you who are wondering, this is like an open cast type live stream. Um, not necessarily a full commentated uh, two cast. It's more like an open cast. So we got a few guys here, you know, contributing to the conversation. <clears throat> I should really turn those taunts off, shouldn't I? There we go. So, uh, Organic, uh, what else do you know about this matchup? This matchup? You mean Shu against Army Corps? Yeah. I know he's been trying to train, but uh, it's hard to replicate Army Corps' Uranos, of course, so it's been really hard for him to train against a good Uranos player. Oh, yeah. And 7-Up... Uh, have you been uh, seeing Shu uh, training these days, or? Yes, sure. I played with him. I know I played with him before. Um, I played with I, I versus Isis on this map actually before in a one v one. I remember that I was obsing. 
Now, guys, it's if a you, good map for I have this. If you like this type of cast, let me know. If you like more of the, um, you know, the commentary with only two casters, also let me know. So if you like the open ones, or if you like just the two co-commentator uh, casts, you guys let me know there in the chat and uh, tell me which one. Hey, come on now. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta put a password on that. Room, man. That was... Uh, <laughs> that was Rip Souls. Okay, guys, I apologize for that. That's not part of the cast. That's uh, some uh, not very smart guy showing up here and uh, acting silly. <clears throat> Sorry about that. But, uh, okay, so back to you, 7-Up. Uh, what do you know about this match? Uh, it's a good map for Ice. Yeah, definitely. You can see uh, the gold line next dude. to the TC. Okay, the good map for Ice. Thanks, 7-Up. Uh, organic, what do you think? Uh, oh, you bro. can see the gold the line next to the TC. <laughs> okay. like I'm saying. <laughs> Only joking. Uh, <laughs> You know that news channel where they go over and say, Hey, Joe, how's the weather? Oh, pretty good. Okay, on to you, Al. <laughs> We're getting uh, hot, the hot lady that knows nothing but just there is there oh, for Oh, true, looks. true, true. <laughs> this is our attempt of humor number three. <laughs> no, 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 honestly. It shows a little bit. <laughs> honestly, you guys remember those shows, uh, news the channels? For the, for the entertainment of the viewers. I literally have no cleavage. Provides absolutely no... no information at all about the subject matter <laughs> that's you again <laughs> right bang you want to add any comments to this match here i liking shu's early strategy unless he plans on going fast uh mythic for the son of osiris or even fast titan he's getting his second town center way too late so unless he's got a fast mythic or titan strategy planned he's going to be in trouble second town center so killing him unless he makes a move i don't think town center is the wise risky move so you're saying They're isis much... needs a second tc I... if i were playing this matchup as isis and a lot of wrecks you see a lot of isis players able to Map and a lot of it involves the safe run and come back from moving being down four town centers to two. If that's second town center going heavy boom style and even possibly getting your trade up safely. But uh, she's really doing that. So army corps out boom them, throw it, get destroyers, get the burn, knock them off this four. I just don't see Shu. Once yeah. Army Corps gets heroic, I don't see him. Holding. You gotta speak up there. Yeah, you're getting cut off there. Yeah. Is this any better now? Yeah. So you're saying Shu needs a second TC? Okay, he's got the second TC now. Well, three three minute, th three minutes late though. Three minutes after Army Corps is the big thing there. Okay, and what else is going on now? You also see the mid goal units, which you typically camels don't do well, and chariot archers typically don't well do well against the Atlantean army compositions early in the game. Like these chariots should be dead at any second. Oh, uh, you know what, guys? You yeah. know, I just realized that I was downloading something. So, as soon as I stopped that, the stream worked fine for me. Oh, oh good for you. Please keep updating us. Okay, so seven you, up, you, know, but... you know, Organic, I, I'm, glad you, I'm glad you mentioned that, man, because now that I can see the map, you know, I can actually provide some insightful information. Oh, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, go ahead there, mister. What do you got to say? <laughs> I mean, what I was going to say earlier... When Better hit us with some new insight. Shu, if you could pick any god or any, any matchup, Shu is least experienced versing Atlantean and playing with Atlantean. Because he's kind of an older player, 
doesn't really know how to play Atlantean, doesn't know exactly how to play against Atlantean. And it's something that he definitely is going to be struggling with here because he doesn't is not for, familiar with the right strategy to use on this watering hole map. <clears throat> yep. I found Shu's Isis is really chariot heavy, especially early on. And I don't know how good that is going to be against the Terma. And well, that's not going to be good on this map. I can tell you that already. Yep. For Serranos. Ouch. She was not looking good. Look at the score difference. We're 10 minutes in and you got a 600 score difference. Yeah, but Uranos originally has a higher score. Right? Yeah, this is pretty much... Like, he lost his Sphinx to a Shockwave. He's gonna lose that Scorpion, <laughs> man. Yo, ch check out Making the chat. Camels. Honest to God, I want you to check out the chat right now. Right now, I want you to check out the chat. Look okay. what Demonoid wrote. Demonoid, Demon, <laughs> Demonoid Demon reporting Dick in. Reporting in. What? De he says Demon <laughs> Dick reporting in. You love those types of jokes, eh? <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> Yo, Rangers, did uh, did Clown buy you that mic yet? So you could come on to speak or what? He told me that he shipped it to you, man. Oh, did he? Yeah. There's lots of hunt on this map. Hey, Rifang, tell us a little more about this matchup. Because you know we don't play AOM anymore, so you're the you're the top experienced uh, go-to person here. In really just Egyptian, you want to make it to the late game because your units and C just become that much stronger. Um, you really could turtle two town centers versus four and still win this matchup. You see it quite commonly in recorded games of pro players playing this matchup on this map, but um, obviously going for an aggressive forward position like that and then building mid goal units is not how you want to play it. You typically want to go with the classical army. Yeah, the reason why you see a lot of forward versus two town center is um, losing when Aranos gets into four town center. Um, versus Isis on this map, they usually don't really know how to macro correctly, and they'll take uh, four town centers before they can support it, before their economy can support it, and then they basically just lose to a Cyrus push out of the Isis. But if you see Army Corps go four town center, he only does it when his uh, economy can support it, and uh, that's one of the reasons why you looking at how to play Ranos. Watching his recorded games doesn't usually help you out that much. Really have to get Mista on here sometime to talk about or cast an army core game and really get his insight. <laughs> <laughs> You're would, just looking for drama, eh? That would be great. Those birds are doing some damage. So what's up here? Are just... What's going on? Why does army core have a, a ton of army there in the back? <laughs> Demon Dick reporting in. Somebody help me with that. <clears throat> Man, that elephant is absolutely getting annihilated. Alright, GG, GG. On to game number two. All I can really say, really say is that was like watching a 2K player play a 1500. It was just ugly. Pretty sure. No, no other way around it. <laughs> Pretty sure it was more than three birds, actually. It's more like five birds. Nah, it was like three. He got one free one and probably made two. 
because he's it. not going to make that much more. He has to save the favor yeah. for Titan in case Isis goes Titan. You guys like Rifang? If you like Rifang, we'll keep him. <laughs> if you guys don't like him, then... Then we're, we'll scrap him up for you. Scrap him up. <laughs> Not a GG. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'm just... He's just being honest. Alright, well, this next game will be more interesting. Yeah, hopefully. Because uh, we'll see what God Army Corps goes. Maybe yeah. we'll see Od Odin, hopefully. <laughs> Make it even. Army Corps. Odin versus Kronos. And Kronos goes... But, oh. How about this? Uh. Next. If it's Kronos versus Odin, you gotta tell Army Corps to uh, go Leto or he's booted out. <laughs> I don't do that. But... Uh... Oh, c come on. For you, I'd have to do think it for the it. fans, man. Do it for the fans. <laughs> no, that's Gr that's Odin. Pretty sure you said Odin there. Did Leto? No, I said Shu should go Odin. I mean, of course, should go Kronos and go Leto. <laughs> yeah. All right, fine. I guess we'll have to see some Kronos action. Alright, no, no. so fans don't want to see Colonel as fans want to see yeah. Leto, bro. Why is he saving? This is good for Shu. I don't know why Shu saved that. What was it, Highland? But he did have Odin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was going to say that's probably because he had Odin, if I had to guess. <laughs> Shu saved it because he's a straight up nice dude, that's why. Yeah, he's a really nice guy. Little known fact. Little known fact. Makes him sound like a dick, man. No, 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 no. Just a lot of people don't know about him. Kind of shed right. some light. Drop some knowledge. Hey, yo, Shu. Oh, I guess it's not TeamSpeak, eh? No, maybe you should speak a little louder. He might be able to hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Why would he be on TeamSpeak with us while we were commentating the games? <laughs> <laughs> what is this, Highland again? Seriously, we're saving again? Oh, man. Really? Get it once, you're always bound to get it twice. It happened in a previous series as well. <laughs> I'm gonna make a rule that you can only save Highland once, because it's getting ridiculous. What? <laughs> it's a terrible rule. No, it's not, because it's bad for you casting. Know, Chicks, I'd like you to shed some light on the logic behind your rules now. Chix, did you get the Highland, see the Highland game earlier today? The Who? first actual <laughs> Highland game at the tournament? The Highland? There was a match played on Highland today. Triplex, yeah. Oh, was Cryplex there really? Versus Arrow. Yeah. So, so what ha what happened? Cryplex wanted to play it, or what? Uh, no. Arrow made him play it, and the game lasted um, a minute and thirty three seconds. It was quite the game. What did he bolt his old Sark? Didn't even need to. As soon as he just got vision of it, the good game came. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. You gotta explain wow. that. I, okay, let me introduction this one here. 
Okay, uh, game two, guys. Best at uh, best at three, round 32. It's already 1 0 for Army Corps. Midgard, bottom of the map, uh, Shu playing Thor in red, and at the top we got Ermicor in blue playing Kronos. Anyway, continue with your story there, uh, Ryfang. So, Euro versus Cryplex, okay, game one? Um, very competitive, Isis versus Loki on Oasis, good game, a lot of back and forth. Okay, Cryplex and then is game pretty two? good with his Loki versus Isis, he's experienced in that matchup. Okay. Um, game two, Cryplex lost the first one, so he could go Loki again. Okay. Arrow went Zeus, which is usually his main Civ. Okay. The map turned out to be Highland. Right. right. And we all knew it was going to happen after that. No save came. One ult was sent <laughs> out. The second ult was canceled. Tried to be <laughs> sneaky, and then Bruiser. the mission came. And then it was a minute 33 good game out of the tournament for Cryplex. So, Euro kind of forced it. Of course, free win. Like you said, $2,500 tournament. Take the win if you can so get it. So, why didn't Cryplex just play it anyway? On that map, it's like try playing a water map without you fishing. It's like what you see 1500s do, and then they always get utterly stomped if you ever play a 1500 who well, doesn't fish wrong? and you he fish. Couldn't fish? They're gonna make two ulfs, and even if you do make two ulfs, you can still get it harassed, get the dock and then you the get scout. the other one bolted, and then you're behind making two ulfs. He tried to play it a bit riskier than he probably should have by just going with one ulf, but as soon as that one ulf is scouted, bolt comes, and then you can't get a dock up. There's limited fishing spots, so it's not like even if you get it late, you can still fish, because there are so few spots on Highland. If you don't dock right away, your opponent will just take all the fishing. So even if you dock later on, there's no fishing left. So, just a bad map. Especially against Zeus, with the bolt factor. Another thing with Norris, of course, if you're attacking, even with your scout or the villagers, the ulf while it's trying to build the dock, unlike a villager where you can put it in passive stance and have it keep building while being attacked the greek scout will stop the ult from building automatically and there's no way to prevent that okay so i guess cryplex just kind of ended his run early then well i don't think many people expected him to be hero anyway first yeah, game was competitive true. at least kind of a bad map for the loki but one of the better Lokis in that matchup, I think. Yeah, for Oasis, that was a great game for a Loki player. And Euro was playing what's it again? First match? Isis. Oh, I see. Fix, we forgot to update this. Or we. I'll put we. We forgot to update the stream title on Twitch. Does count versus Jolly still? Oh, okay. Can you, uh, or should I do it? I'll do it. Half did it earlier, then got to finish. So, seven up, the all knowledgeable one. What do you think of this matchup? It's a pretty good map for Thor. Depends on the fish. But overall, it's a pretty good map for Thor. You think so? Yeah. So what's He's going to have to wall here? up and play defensively. That Ghost Lake versus Shelty game was pretty funny. Shelty made like six ox carts. <laughs> and in a... In a in a time frame of like a minute. Actually, if you have to choose the favorite in this matchup, even skill players, it might actually go to the Thor player, or probably would go to the Thor player, so. Really?
Do you think Shu has a better chance against um, Kronos? Uh, definitely. Huge difference in Kronos and um, Uranos. Although most of the difference comes on land maps. Technically, Kronos might even be, depending on the map, Kronos does even. Yeah, I want to say better, but Kronos is slightly stronger on water than he is land. But the big thing with Uranos is the OPness, the shock wave, and then the faster units, especially on land maps, the faster unit speed makes a huge difference. Construct also does a lot better on water maps, which is why Kronos tends to fare a bit better on water than land. Oh my gosh, the that was his only dock left. Now he's building a dock to the top that's under fire. to say it but this game is even worse than the first one I think yeah. never get completely knocked off water in six minutes plus killing those hoses is just <laughs> devastating oh man so what's Shu doing anyway these days it is who did he play in the group stage? Uh, no idea. How did he make it through the group stage? <laughs> that, that's, uh, that's don't beat me, dude. As well. Core makes it to round 16.